Hey folks, I'm back, part two. So I made my uh, my ribs in a Dutch oven. I mean, these things are falling off the bone. It's wonderful, you're gonna see it later. Then I made some flan, which is a, for those who don't know what flan is, it's like an egg custard uh, pie or something it is. Uh, it's a custard, I, I don't know. Anyway, it's made with eggs and uh, carnation milk and, and uh, condensed milk and I made a cheese flan. I added some Philadelphia cream cheese and some vanilla and what have you. And I put it in the oven for an hour. You, you saw how I did it. I put it in a uh, in a pan with water and then the other pan inside and you know, what have you. Anyway, you're gonna see that. All that you're gonna see at the end of this. So anyway, anyway, my first part it was making all the, the the main course. Now I'm gonna be making some easy mac and cheese. Everything I've made here tonight has been easy. I made easy ribs just three ingredients and uh, I made my flan and now I'm gonna be making my mac and cheese very simple mac and cheese it is uh, it's there's a thousand recipes for mac and cheese but I used this one before and I liked it and it was good so I stick to it so anyway stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how it's done so folks I uh, I'm gonna start off with some uh, heavy cream I got one pint of heavy cream here I'm gonna put it into a pot there one of my sauce pots or whatever you want to call it and this is gonna be the base for my cheese sauce, the heavy cream. And uh, I just added like also like a quarter of a milk just to water it down a little bit. And uh, okay. And I put about, I put two tablespoons of butter. I uh, just want you to see, see how it looks. So I put some butter in there and I put the little bit of milk, about a quarter of a cup, and the rest is uh, heavy cream. And what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna boil, bring this to a boil and as I boil, I'm gonna whip it up. I'm gonna put some salt, some pepper, some seasoning in there, and uh, then I'm gonna start throwing in my cheese. I'm gonna, you can use any kind of cheese you want. I'm gonna be using cheddar, and I'm gonna be using mozzarella, and I'm gonna be using a quarter, uh, about a, a little bit, uh, a little bit less than a half of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese, just to make it creamier. Uh, you, you can leave, uh, you can leave the cream cheese out if you want, but this is how I'm gonna start doing my mac and cheese. And then when I make create this sauce, I'm boiling water right now for my. Uh, my macaronis for my elbows and then I'm gonna put everything in pan. I'm gonna cook this in a, in a uh, I'm gonna bake it in a uh, cast iron skillet so once the macaronis are done I'm gonna of course strain them and then I'm gonna throw the, uh, the sauce on top and then uh, I'm gonna put it in the oven about 20 30 minutes and we're gonna bake it okay so stay tuned okay so my salted water is is uh, boiling now I'm gonna put it I'm gonna use Renzoni because uh, I've always used Ronzoni, Ronzoni Sonaboni. Uh, I grew up with um, Ronzoni. My mother always bought Ronzoni, so I don't do the freaking other products. I use, I use Ronzoni. Tell me, uh, say whatever you want. Anyway, I'm going to be using the whole box. It's uh, about one pound of pasta. I think it's one pound, is it? Yeah, 16 ounces of one pound of pasta. Anyway, I'm going to, let me make sure that I stir this pasta right so it doesn't stick. I put some water, always salt your water, your pasta water. And they say that you should salt it to it taste salty like, like uh, sea water. So, I don't know. But anyway, I didn't put any oil in there. I don't put any oil in there. I just, uh, you know, people put oil in there so it doesn't stick. I don't, I don't know. I'm not putting any oil in there. I'm just boiling the, I'm going to use al dente about eight minutes and then I'm going to strain it and then I'm going to start cooking up my cheese sauce now that I just put together. So stay tuned. So this is my milk and my heavy cream that I put together. And I put about two tablespoons of butter in there. And I just turned it on medium to high heat. And I'm just gonna bring this to a boil, and uh, to a light boil. And then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna throw my cheese in. I'm gonna be using, today I'm gonna be using some, uh, uh, I was looking for Swiss cheese and stuff, but today I'm gonna be using a combination of, of mozzarella cheese and, uh, and, and cheddar. And I'm gonna put it in, and I'm gonna put a uh, half a, a quarter stick of uh, cream cheese just to get it nice and okay. So I'm just gonna keep whipping this around, uh, making sure that it doesn't stick out or anything like that. You know what I mean? So you see, my sauce is starting to get thick now. And again, I put some garlic powder, I put some pepper, I put some pepper flakes in there just to get a little kick. Yeah, pepper flakes, folks. Yeah, and. Uh, I just keep moving it around. I don't want this to uh, to overboil and get you know. So I just mix it around, and it's gonna th it's sticking up. And if it doesn't stick up, it tells you the uh, the recipe calls for uh, flour. 
but I'm, I didn't put any flour in as of yet. So it's starting to boil now. I don't want this over spill. I'm going to throw my cheese in there in a few minutes, okay? So, folks, you see my cheese sauce is starting to thicken up. Here you go. Look at that. Mmm, man. So, I'm going to strain my macaroni now. So, uh, let me see. I'm going to get some, uh, I'm going to put some sauce in the bottom of this. Let's see. Put some sauce in the bottom of this. Like that. Okay. There you go. So it won't stick, you know what I mean? Okay. Now I'm going to throw in a, a couple of my, my macaroni. Okay, this thing's alive. It's alive. Okay. okay, there you go. So I did about half. Then I'm going to put my sauce in there. Okay? There you go. And I'm going to mix it up in there. I'm telling you, this is good stuff. It, it, you know, doesn't look like anything, but you're gonna see how when it finishes up, how it's gonna look. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, and then we're gonna put some more of the macaronis. There we go. We put the second layer here. Okay. My sauce is boiling. There you go. Okay. So let's get some of this more sauce in here. Okay. Here you go. Oh man, this looks good. I'm telling you, it's gonna be look, looking good. Okay, we're gonna spread this around, and we're gonna make sure that it's all over the place. It's all over. Okay, there we go. Make sure it's spread out nice. Okay, you want this even, right? You want this a little bit more. There we go. We put some more cheese on the sides there. Need some more cheese. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Then I'm gonna bake this for about a minute. 20 to, 20 to a half hour or so, give or take. Okay. Right on the cast iron skillet. And uh, I'm gonna put some cheese on top so it can brown. So the cheese, uh, I'm using some cheddar cheese here. There's a lot of cheese. This is a very cheesy mac and cheese, okay? So I'm gonna do this. And then we go into. Folks, we're almost done with dinner today. Oh, sh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. We put that in there, even it out. Get every corner you could. There you go. Look at that. Now a little bit more. You want a little bit more? I know you guys want a little bit more. There you go. Let's go to get those corners in there. There we go. Okay. Now into the oven at 350. Set the timer for 30 minutes. Check it at 20. So you check it at 20. Run it for 30. Give or take, check it again, and your mac and cheese will be done. And I'll show you how it gets done. Now, are you ready to see my mac and cheese? Because it's done. I think it's done. Give me a minute. Oh, my God. It's sizzling. The cheese is sizzling. Look at this. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? I got to taste it. So let's see. Where do I start? It's nice and creamy inside. You see that? So inside it's nice and creamy. Oh, let's try this. This taste is uh, let's let's taste it. Let's cover this up again and taste this. So it was in the oven for about 25 minutes. Look at this. Look at this. Let's try this out. This is amazing. Freaking amazing. Well, folks, there you got it. I got my mac and cheese. I got my ribs. And I just put my cornbread in the oven. It's going to bake for about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, that's about it, folks. So we got ribs. We have uh, mac and cheese. And we got some cornbread. And in the refrigerator cooling off, I have some flan, which is like an egg, egg custard uh, dessert. And um, Gilbert's coming from work. Actually, he just got out of work. About a half hour ago, he should be here in 15 minutes or so. And then we go to go to the table. I'm gonna show you how it looks because this stuff looks delicious. I'm telling you, I spent all day cooking and it looks delicious. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere.